Hi friends, it's me, Miss Rachel, and welcome to RPK. Can you believe it's the last week of the month? We've had so much fun at our big party, celebrating the truth that Jesus loves everyone. Can you tell me, who does Jesus love? That's right, Jesus loves everyone. He loves you and you and you and you and you. He loves all of us. He loves everyone, everywhere. Let's look in our clubhouse mailbox one last time to see what Ollie wants us to have for our big party. Look! Do you know what these are? That's right, they're cards. In fact, these are called invitations. I wonder why Ollie put these in the mailbox. Let's see. There's one for Miss Sally, that's my neighbor. There's one for my mom, for Pastor Scott, Miss Kelly Ann, Pastor Dre, and there's a bunch more of people who haven't been to our party yet. Do you think Ollie wants me to invite more people to the party? I think you're right. You know, Having all of these people at the party would be so much fun. All month long, we've been hearing stories from the Bible all about Jesus. If Jesus had a party, I think everyone would be invited. <laughs> Grown-ups would be invited, kids would be invited, everyone would be invited. Wow. Well, I am so excited to learn with you guys the story that we have today. Let's go to the clubhouse and do the three things that we do together every week. First, we'll do our memory verse. Second, we'll sing and dance to our worship songs. And third, we'll hear our true story from the Bible. So let's go to the clubhouse and do those things together. I'll see you guys after. Bye, everybody. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. In the morning, and I wiggle my toes. Wiggle my toes. Oh, oh. I stretch out my arms and I'm scratching my nose. Scratching my nose. Oh, oh. So I got my hands stuck.
for the party we're having today. Yay! Today at the park, I met this really cool girl and I let her go in front of me on the slide. Then I invited her to the party. And yesterday, I saw Miss Kathy Sue. So I invited her to the party. I know chocolate is her favorite flavor. So I made some super special chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Yummy. And today at school, I saw one of my friends wearing a super cool jacket. I told her I loved it, and then I invited her to the party. So, I got some special streamers to match her jacket. Woo! Where should I put these? Ooh, ooh. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ooh, ooh. Doing things for your friends, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Helping others shows love. It's true. There are more ways to show love, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. I'm Luis the Handyman. There. Now it should work. My Aunt Sheila is coming home from the hospital after she broke her hip. And I thought she could use one of these reach or grabber things. <laughs> See? You drop something. And you don't need to bend down to get it. The reach or grabber will get it for you. Ta-da! <laughs> I think this will really help her. And it reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <gasps> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools.
Yep, we have everything we need. All month long, we've been talking about how Jesus loves everyone and that if he had a party, everyone would be invited. Grown-ups? Children! Everyone can celebrate that Jesus loves them because Jesus loves everyone. And Jesus wants us to love everyone too. In fact, he said, do everything in love. Can you say that with me? Ready? Do everything in love. Oh, wow. Everything? Let's think about that. Let's say you're at the grocery store and the checkout worker seems like he had a sad day. You're done with your groceries and you are just about to leave. What could you do to show love? Try this. Can you smile and wave? Bye, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Look, he's smiling and waving back. You showed him love by being kind. Great job. Okay, let's try this one. Your brother runs into the kitchen and really wants a cookie, but you have the last one. He's upset that he did not get a cookie. What could you do to show love? Try this. Do you want some? You did it. Sharing the cookie made your brother feel loved. Great job. Okay, what about this one? You and your friend are playing in the sandbox at the park. You are having so much fun together. But you look over and there's a kid who's all alone by the slide. They don't have a friend to play with. What could you do to show love? Yell it out. Yes, you could ask them to play. Hey, do you want to play with us? See, you are great at doing everything in love. Whether you're on the playground or at a dance class or at school or at home with your family, you can do what Jesus said and do everything in love. So let's celebrate because Jesus loves everyone. Woo! <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves everyone? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves everyone. And we can, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Jesus said to do everything in love. And I know we can. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I can't wait for the party. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wow, that was incredible. Do you remember who our story was about? That's right, it was all about Jesus and what he's asked us to do. Let's say it one more time. Do everything in love. Great job. You guys are awesome at this. <laughs> Whether you're on the playground, at a dance class, at school, or at home, you can do what Jesus said and do everything in love. So let's celebrate because Jesus loves everyone. Can you tell me one more time? Who does Jesus love? That's right, Jesus loves everyone. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this message today. Thank you for the reminder that we can love everyone because you love us. God, we are so thankful for your love. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray, amen. Well, thank you guys so much for learning with me today. Remember, you are loved, you are special, and there is nothing you can do to make God love you less. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.